Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? <laughs> yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway, I've got this recipe for a Deathclaw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a Deathclaw egg. Kind of obvious, I suppose. My great-aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California, in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female Deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least, she did until some stranger came along and killed the Deathclaw, shot it right in the eye. The quarry just north of here is full of death claws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a death claw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Sure. What did you want to know? Oh, I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. They say anything goes there. And best of all, the NCR can't mess it up for you. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the strip unless you're rich. Born and raised. Things back in California are better than they've ever been, according to my grandpa. The raiders are mostly gone now, and it's easy enough to get a job at one of the mills or farms. But now there's taxes and laws and other things. The NCR keeps things safe and orderly, but it's all very boring. So, I came out east, towards the frontier. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Sure thing. Give me a shout if you need anything else. All right, then. <laughs> 